All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed it. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it.
Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Oh no. I'm... I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Thank you.